Hey guys, it's Michelle and welcome back to my channel. So today for my second video of my Halloween series, I'm going to be showing you how to transform a garbage bag into a super cool spider web that you can use to decorate your house or your room or anything. So all you're going to need for this DIY is a garbage bag, some scissors, and some tape. So to start, you're going to take your garbage bag and spread it out onto the floor and then you are going to just fold it over diagonally so that you have a little bit of extra end on the side. So using your scissors, you are going to cut that little extra part off so that all you are left with is a big triangle that is folded. So once you have cut off the excess garbage bag, you are going to line it up on the floor. You are going to fold it over again so that you have kind of a cone shape and then one more time. So using your tape, you are just going to secure the little shape you've made just so when you start cutting the edges don't start to move and then your spider web doesn't look symmetrical. One thing I learned from doing this DIY a couple of times is you do not want to use duct tape. So I'm using duct tape here in my first one but I found that when I was trying to actually rip it off the garbage bag the duct tape was too strong and it actually ripped the garbage bag. So when I did my other ones I found that washi tape actually worked the best because it's a weak tape but if you have some scotch tape or masking tape I'm sure that would work just as well. So all you have to do now is take your scissors and cut the garbage bag. So what you want to do is cut off all those kind of weird ends and you want to kind of angle it on a diagonal, kind of round it so that the edge of your spider web kind of looks like this. And then you're just going to take your scissors and cut small thin rectangles in the garbage bags, making sure not to get to the end where the tape is so that when you open it everything kind of works. So as you can see here, I'm just continuing to cut my strips into my garbage bag, making sure I'm not going too close to the edge so that when I open it, all the kind of strands of the spiderweb stay intact. Also, remember that this is going to be a spiderweb and you are cutting out a garbage bag, so it is not going to be perfect at all, but it's the imperfections that make your spiderweb look super unique. So once you've cut all your strips out, you are just going to carefully remove the tape, unfold the spider web, and you are done. Thank you guys so much for watching this week's video. If you enjoyed it, make sure you hit that like button. Also be sure to check out my Instagram and Twitter, at DIYYourself, to see what I'm going to be revealing for my Halloween costume next Sunday. Bye! If I am torn between two meals at a restaurant, how do I make my decision on which one I'm going to get? Price. Yeah. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> Whichever was cheaper.